Hey there, Heather Ho there, Drifter Diamond. Welcome you to a double dip. I know this is, we're doing the games both on April 4th and April 5th, but because it's only one game each, we'll do it. So Philly and Boston are beating in the winner's bracket. The Sixers led by Samuel Delibert, my boy, Andre Godala, and others. They are 4 0. They beat in Toronto, Charlotte, Phoenix, and the Clippers. In the winner's bracket, so they'll stay here. They got to face Boston, the 2008 champions in real life. Led by Kevin Garnett and Rajon Rondo, they take it in Seattle, Lakers, Detroit, and Utah. So they are ready for action. Winner actually is in the championship final of the Tournament of Champs, no matter what happens. They're in. The loser will have to wait till the winner of the April 5th game between Utah and Washington, if I'm there. Utah and Orlando. Whoever wins Utah Orlando will face the loser of this game for technically third place. No, for f sorry, the winner of Utah Orlando plays the loser of this game for third place. And then the other guy for I don't know, I'm just losing my fucking head. Philly are number one in rebounds and points against Boston second in points against 83 points. Dip off first quarter. And Dallin Bear, the Canadian, gets the foul. Dallin Bear also gets a block. Are they trying to get something going? Block by Allen. Eagle Della misses the shot. Race foul. No. No foul. Billy still got the ball. But nope. It's now Boston's ball. Three pointer by Pierce. He pierced it through the bottom of the hoop. That's a three ball. Perkins with a foul. Dallin Bear from Seton Hall and Canadian basketball. Goes one out of two on the free throws. And Paul Pierce now has five. The man from Kansas. Eagle Dalla, Iggy Pop. The man from Arizona. And who the Raptors should have taken in the 2005 draft. He puts in a bucket. Evans with the personal foul. Is that the three pointer by Kendrick? No. Tony Allen, Ray Allen, sorry, from UConn with the flip shot. He's a favorite because Connecticut's close to Boston. Eagle Dalla for two? Yes, sir. Report chance for Ray Allen. Poof, baby. Yes, sir. That's why he's one of the best three point shooters of all time. Here's with the steal. And right to Ray Allen, who goes three for three on field goal attempts. Three pointer by Willie Green. Uh uh. Not happening. Perkins misses the shot. And a block coast. Block goes to rebound. Rondo, nice job. Perkins with the block to Roy John Rondo. The man from Kentucky. We put it by Iguodala. Ah. Allen misses the shot. First shot of the miss. Green for three? No. And Evans will pick up a loose ball foul. The Sixers are making wholesale changes. Evans is out. The two fouls. Posey is coming in for Kendrick Perkins. That's the big move for Boston. Moves with a block, protests the call, Mo Cheeks. Fortunately, he has enough not to get a flagrant foul. No. It wasn't bad enough. It wasn't bad enough for me. Three fighter by Pierce. Uh uh. Not happening this time. No one misses the shot. And Smith, Jason Smith, not the former editor of the Benchman. With the foul, Garnett to line, the high school man who, I don't know who. Where he would have went to school if it wasn't for playing that high school. And he puts in a, a free throw to boot. Three-pointer by Williams. Gong. Smith with personal foul number two. Garnett will go back to the line for two shots this time. Tony Allen for Ray Allen. And Garnett breaks them both. Aye, aye. And a shooting foul by Rondo. So Philly will go to the line. Two shots for Lou Williams. One, two, buckle my shoe. He puts it in. And Garnett puts in a bucket. He's got five points. No miss. Rondo, yes, he's got four. Boston looking pretty good. Smith for the column shot. Ah, not enough. Eagle Dollar with the personal foul, so guess what that means? Pierce will go to line for two. House and Davis will come in for the Celtics. And two for Pauly e. Pierce. He's got 23. Foul, no. 
And then uh, two. We put her up by the baby pops. Aye. And Tony Allen makes the bucket. 25-7 for Celtics. Allen with the steal. That's a foul. Williams with the steal. Fast break. Held up. And Miller finally makes it under Miller, the fellow Cleveland star. Boston beats the press. Billy went for the four course press. Young with a steal, though. And Thaddeus Young puts up a deuce. Big baby Davis, that's a two ball. We put it by Lou Williams? No. We put it by House. Our House. In the middle of the street, he scores. A three point bucket. And House gets another one. I believe it went to Arizona State. If Mary says we right. Rivers protests the call. Why would you do that at the technical? So he blames for the technical free throw. Ray Allen comes in for Tony Allen. Rivers better be careful. He could get ejected. And Williams fucking missed. He missed. You don't miss a easy shot. Lou Williams puts that shot in. Full court press. Not happening. A rare play. Allen Bear claims it was foul, but he will get teed up. Allen for the free throw. Yes. So Philly has two guys with a technical. Their coach and Dallin Bear. No foul. And the Celtics have a 33-13 to lead. Looks like they're going to crush Philly in the fine powder and stay in the winner's bracket. They were the, they were the champs in real life. Although that doesn't always mean anything because the Raptors... Lost the winner's bracket match against Indiana, and then they fell, and then lost to Milwaukee. So, yes. Yeah, oh, Doug Rivers is for Boston. What am I thinking? I thought Doug Rivers was the coach for Philly for a moment there. So, yes. Yeah, so, the Sixers are really going to be embarrassed by their first quarter performance. Let's go to the fourth quarter. Let's go to the fourth quarter pudding. And it's 89-58. Yeah, that's a 30-point game. Like, fuck. I don't think anyone wants to see a 30-point game. That's just end it. I'll score 121-76. The Sixers embarrass themselves. Miller put up 22, but Garnett, 22 points, 9 rebounds. Did they play their guys a lot? Or no? Let's look at the box score. Wow. The guy who played the most was... Rajon Rondo with 31 minutes. Ray Allen played 30 minutes. Garnett, 28. Pierce, 28. Perkins, 22. Wow. This, they really used nine, nine guys to their advantage. The Sixers had to use up pretty much all their players trying to score points. And 22 points by Andre Miller was the norm. 22 points by Kevin Garnett. Yeah, but they weren't really playing a lot of minutes. So the Celtics win, so the Sixers fall. Now it's Utah versus Orlando. Utah to beating Go beat Golden State, Chicago, and Houston to stay in the winner's bracket, lost to Boston, then beat Washington to stay in the tournament. They takes Orlando. We lost to Indy. Had to go to the loser's bracket with Memphis, Dallas, Houston, Detroit, and the Clippers. This is their fifth Western Conference team out of six attempts in the loser's bracket. The winner, the winner of this game will get to Philly, who fell from the winner's bracket. The loser is out and technically fourth. Darren Williams and Hader Tickerley will go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Utah third and sixth. Tip-off time. Goes to Utah. And Boozer misses the shot. Orlando. Three-pointer by Tickerley. Nope. Shooting foul by Darren Williams. Jameer Nelson from St. Joseph's with the two free throws. One, two, buckle my shoe. It's good. Nelson makes the foul. And guess what? Darren Williams goes to the line. The man from Illinois. And unfortunately, he only makes one. Three for this time. Does the fouls cancel each other out? No, they don't really. Jameer Nelson, good. Okur, good. The man from Turkey. Not Turkaloo. Turkaloo's not from Turkey. If you must know. Column two shot. Good. Accor. Now I've got another bucket. 
Cutter Linker with a foul. Turk glue for two free throws. And two free throws he gets. Brewer good. So wait. Ronnie Brewer. Richard Lewis for two. Yes. Wizard for two. Good. He gets that one. We put it by Turk glue. Ooh. Ooh. Lewis with the personal foul. Jason Hart comes in for Darren Williams. Cook, Bogans, and Dueling for Orlando. They're making wholesale changes. Hart with a steal. Column shot. Boozer missed. Hercules 0 for 4. Boozer. Good with the bucket. Dwight Howard puts it in. Dwight. Makes it 11 10. We put it by Hart. Now. Boozer with the steal. Oh, you guys. Boozer for two. Yes. He's got six points. Fairlinko, foul number two. He'll have to sit. Turk Lou for two free throws. Got two. Surprised Orlando didn't make any substitution. And Harper with the offensive foul. Ball goes to Orlando. Hart with a personal foul. Utah keeps getting fouls. <clears throat> Millsap, good for Utah. Hart with his second foul. Dueling will go to the line for two and make only one. Surprised they don't take Hart out now. Cook with the block. Flagrant foul. No. Hart with foul number three. Now they take him out for Ronnie Price. Houston Hart's already got three fouls. Dueling for two. They're in the penalty, so that means any foul by Utah means Orlando free throws. And Dueling makes two free throws. Darren Williams coming in for Ronnie Price at point guard. Now you got to use Darren Williams. Rashard Lewis comes in for the Magic. Picked up with the pass. We put a recorder. Good. The man from Creighton. The sharpshooter. And Mo Evans comes in for Turkoglu, who keeps throwing the ball away in their minds. Foul? Well, yes, Lewis with foul number two. Rashard Lewis. They'll stop to the line for two. Only one. Richard will stay on the floor. Why? I don't know. We put it by Evans. Good. Mo Evans. 19-18. Who's are good? He's got eight. Yeah. Both percent a shot. Fuck. Call him two shot. Harper and good. We put it by Bogan. Uh-uh. And Evans will flip up a two. Home two shot. Good. Boozer's now got 10. Utah looking pretty good. Three pointer on the way by Evans. Poof. Mo Evans. Yes. The second three, for, three pointer. Dueling with a steal. Pass break. And then a three point by Bogan. No. Harpering. Bucket good. And Boozer will pick up a shooting foul. Collins is coming in. Howard for two free throws. Brian Cook comes in. And one out of two for Howard. Collins missed. And Utah has a three point lead headed to the second quarter. And Lewis. 27 10 points in 11 minutes. So the end of the third quarter, we'll see Orlando up by five. Okay. Okura comes in for Collins. And Nelson picks up foul number four. Bad news for Orlando. No sap for two. Good. Bogans. Good for the Magic. Lewis with the block. Utah will take time out to get Brewer and Boozer into the game. A double B, if you will. Jerry Williams flips a two point, or 96 93. Kerlinko, foul number four. He's in trouble. And foul number five right off the bat. Now they got to get him out of there, or else he risks being DQ'd. High percent of shot. No. Flip shot by Howard. Ah. Couldn't do that. Flip shot by Howard. No. 
Harpering, poor foul. Oh, no, the foul. Reported by Lewis, no. And Evans with the foul, Harpering for two. Yes. Nelson turns the ball over. Home flip shot. Ah, no. I want to show you a little Orlando calls timeout to get Turkey back in the game. 96 95. For the Magic. Boozer with a third foul. Lewis to the line for two. Got two. Boozer good. He's now got 26. Harpering, foul number five. So that's the second Jazz player with close to being disqualified. Corver. We'll go to the line. Corver will come in. Turkey to the line. One out of two. And Utah is now in the penalty. Will it present a shot by Boozer to tie? No. Carver with the block. Three pointer of the way by Williams. Poof. Darren Williams and the Jazz now have to leave. Three pointer by Lewis. No. Foul? No. Bogans. Good. He's at the 13. Brewer. Sweet. He's got eight. And Okur. That's foul number five. That's the third Jazz player with five fouls now. Howard, two free throws. Got them both. He wasn't good with free throws. Howard with a shooting foul. Collins to the line for two. That one. We're tied. And Lewis. Good. Richard Lewis makes the bucket. And Brewer now has got ten. Sweet. Harvard with a steal. There's foul. Collins with the foul. Howard will go to the line for two. Mo Evans comes in. And both miss. Game's still tied. Lewis Steele. Boozer, foul number four. Oh boy. All these fouls. And they're in the penalty too. Great. Three shots for Howard. Just got one. Williams, good. He's at 17. Brewer's got a foul. Evans for two. Dead boy. He's got two. Williams, good. Nelson's got foul number five coming to him. Darren Williams for one shot. Good. He's at 20. And Utah's got a two-point lead with two minutes left. Loose ball fell in Lewis. So Orlando's with the penalty. Boozer will go to line for two. And just make one. It's a three-point game. Flip shot? No. I call it a flip shot. I call it what I want. Call it. We put a step by Darren Williams. Ah, no, this time. Fast break. Hold up. Fast break shot by Lewis. No. Final minute. Boozer. Good. Williams is with the Swiss. You top by five. How are good? He's now at 14. He's also got to keep passing the ball around. Evans turns the ball over. Potential foul. Nelson does the job on Darren Williams. He's out. That's six. And Williams just makes one. It's a four-point game. Turns the ball over. And that will do it. Karen Lincoln makes a shot. Doesn't freaking matter. And the Jazz go into Orlando and take out the Magic. Utah will now face Philadelphia for a second for a trip to the final. Utah. 116-110. Trey Sloan got a technical foul. It doesn't matter. So great job by Utah. The, that fourth quarter was just what the doctor ordered for the Jazz to win the game. And Jerry Sloan to be one happy camper. Boozer puts up 29 points and 10 rebounds to lead Utah to the win over Turkaloo and the Magic. Which means tomorrow, Philly heads to Utah. The winner will face off against Boston. The loser is third place and done. So, can the Jazz take out the Sixers? Maybe they will. Maybe they won't. Anyhow, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do.